<sighs> All right, what's up, folks? Uh, here, I'm gonna do a raw review. One of my Ricky Williams jerseys, though, because I'm watching the Ravens game and Ricky plays for the Ravens now. All right, raw. It's pretty good tonight. Um, it opened up pretty nice. It did a good little promo there. Uh, with Kevin Nash coming in and just destroying Triple H with the sledgehammer. And really trying to give a, make this uh, storyline going into Survivor Series very, very positive. But there I have. I heard, uh, I heard rumors that Undertaker came back. Okay, you got The Rock showing up. And then if you get this, this match going, this will be a very good pay-per-view. Um, and finally, the pay-per-view that won't be two weeks after another pay-per-view. You know, so there's going to be some suspense in it. Uh, by the way, I apologize for the angle of the camera. I'm, I, I hooked it up to my TV, so, uh, you can't really see me. Or well, you can see me. I can't. I'm not really looking at the monitor. I'm watching TV and I'm looking up. So, um, it's all over, all over the place. Uh, but yeah. Um, but the show did all right. It, uh, good cutting promo at the beginning. You know, with Triple H getting assaulted. Um, and then I loved how in the end when they were trying to put him in the ambulance, he started foaming at the mouth and like he was trying to look hurt. He's like spitting all over himself. And uh. Lord, what was it? Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty funny to me. Um, it's gonna build up good suspense for Survivor Series though. Um, what was the second match of the night? It was a, uh, or what was the first match of the night? Was it Santino Ziggler? I think it was. I'm a Santino guy. I like Santino. I think he's a good gimmick. Uh, he, he was one of the, he was like a gold dust. You know, he was really good at being. Weird and awkward, but he had the title for a while, the IC title. I say he uh he should definitely you know get a push by WWE again. If not, have him and Zack Ryder tag team do something with that. Um. Okay, they're they kind of totally made uh Santino just kind of dead like that whole. They made him like he did two moves on, and that was like a snooze match. There's like literally three or four moves done the whole thing. And just people standing on the ropes and him attempting to do the cobra. So that match was like a one was like a one star. Nothing spectacular, nothing great. Uh there was I think shortly after that, oh Mason Ryan came in and he was just alright, give Mason Ryan just a, a match against I'm tired of seeing Mason if you're trying to push Mason Ryan, don't have him interfere every fucking week. Have him go have him actually have a match. Jeez. He's aggravating me. If you're pushing Zack Ryder, which is which is aggravating me a little bit, you're pushing Zack Ryder and you're giving him these title opportunities, but oh no, we're just gonna give him Mason Ryan. We're just gonna wait till Mason Ryan's ready. If, if he's not ready, don't keep cutting promos of him interfering. Just put him in a match or something. You just keep him developmental. Just keep him on like dark matches. And they're hyping up Brodus play too, and we hadn't seen nothing from him. I saw him in a in a dark match here in Dallas. He fought li a legit nobody. This guy was. Like 6'3", but weighed like 110 pounds. And like, Brodus Clay is so good. This, he looked like he had a bunch of wrestling botches, though. He almost killed that guy. It was bad. Um, but yet again, Dolph Ziggler and Mason Ryan and Jack Swagger thing. I don't know where this is going. I really don't. It's, it's going to end up being Mason Ryan winning the United States title. They're just trying to make Mason Ryan look like Batista because he looks like him. Um, Horrible uh, accent though. Uh, what was it? What was next? Was it um? I think it was a uh, Beth or Natalia versus Alicia Fox. That was a that was a that was an okay match. Uh, nothing too spectacular. We kind of figured um, Beth Phoenix would be involved in it somehow. But I mean, I, I was surprised that she didn't like get up on the apron and stuff. But that was. That's pretty good. We saw um, something new. We saw Alicia Fox win, and by like a sneak win. But then, uh, you know, she didn't get pulverized to death. She rolled out of the ring and got out in time. That's that was the surprising thing. That was the new thing. She didn't just get destroyed by pin up strong. So that was okay. That that was second was pretty decent. Um. Uh, they had the John oof, John Cena. No. Uh, they had the. Randy Orton, Sheamus versus Christian uh, Cody Rhodes, and to be honest, typical. They're they're just gonna have 
20 year olds in Christian get hot for literally like 30 seconds to 2 minutes and then just let Randy Orton and Sheamus close it off. Like, change it up a little bit. Have, have Cody Rhodes and Sheamus, or Cody Rhodes and Christian just win. Just whoop tail and win. It's getting a little repetitive. It's getting a little... I like Randy Orton. Randy Orton is probably my favorite active superstar on the roster. But if you're going to put him as a mid-card, have him fight for that IC title for a little bit. Let it build its prestige up a little bit, you know. And, uh... I think it was after that was the John Morrison match, right? With Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett's a snoozer. I, I, I don't get any excitement from this kid at all. His ears are enormous and shield me from some of the light that's in the arena. And then John Morrison, God bless his soul, Mr. TNA in a few weeks, two few months, whatever. Yeah, he's going to be Mr. TNA. I'm telling you, he's going to go into TNA like every other WWE superstar and just run house. So I'll see John Morrison in Impact soon. Um, the WWE's killing John Morrison off. They're dropping the ball with him. They have nothing to do after he healed up. And he still gets a big pop from the crowd, which means he could still be a man of mid, high mid card guy who could contend for the title. It's like they kind of, like they didn't drop the ball on our truth. They kind of kept pushing him with this new awesome truth gimmick. So, I mean, they're, they're using him somehow, but, jeez. They're just having Morrison get killed out there. Week in and week out. And you can tell they totally messed up because he was supposed to come off on what? Was it, what was it? Lion Salt or something off the road? And then they will try to do. Um, I don't even know what Barrett's finishing. They were going to try to do that and fell over and then right over. Come on. If they just fell over, they both would have gotten up. But no, John, John Morrison just laid there. And, yeah. Typical WWE. They had a botch. They have to figure out something real fast, improv it, and do it. All right, so that match was that match was kind of boring because you had John Morrison dominate the whole match like every other match and get just killed at the end. Um, what was the matchup for that? I I don't recall because I've been flipping in and out between the Ravens game. Uh, I think it was it went to the promos of um uh, what was it um. Uh, Oh, yeah, Zack Ryder come running down the hallway, screaming, he's my, I'm his partner, I'm his partner, I'm John Cena's partner, he's Lebrowski, blah, blah. that was good, I, I kind of saw that coming a little bit, um, after, you know, John Cena threw a mention out to Zack Ryder and his Twitter, follow him, at Zack Ryder, on Twitter, please, that's my boy, um, but they threw that out, so we saw that coming, uh, and then, you know, I think shortly after that, I think it was the Michael Cole uh, throwing out the issue to JR or something. But we already kind of see where this is going. I don't see Michael Cole pulling a, a, a Jonathan Coachman and going to ESPN or something like that. I think he'll win the Michael Cole challenge, which I think is an I quit match, someone said. Uh, someone said it was an I quit match. I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I haven't gotten all the speculation. I haven't checked the dirt sheets at all. Um, but of course, you know, I'm surprised he didn't do more with the Oklahoma City thing, with them being in UT. I mean, I'm in Dallas. It's crazy up here if you have Oklahoma stuff up here. Um, and that's north from UT. But I'm surprised they didn't do more with Oklahoma being an OU fan, besides the cheerleading bitches. I thought it was a little dumb. I mean, they do that to JR. They do that to... Se they're doing the same thing to JR every year. They need to change it up. If they're going to try to embarrass JR, change it up. They had, the, well, they had the worst gimmick in Kiss My Ass Club one year, early millennium, I think, late 90s. They had that. Well, what else they had? Um, they just, and then they, they do this to him constantly. Fire him every other month and come back, let him do something. It's, it's getting annoying. I don't see Michael Cole quitting. And so I just, I'm not going to give him my take on that. that it's not going to catch my attention. It's kind of going to catch my attention, but never mind. Um, okay. Right after it set up next, it was going to be, uh, what was Zack Ryder, John Cena versus The Awesome Truth. And they're interviewing Zack Ryder, and yes, I figured it was happening once they show Zack Ryder on a cutscene during the interview before the match. He was going to get whooped. They do that to most of the people who go into a main event who do an interview before a match. And that's typical of the It's kind of getting predictable, and 
what you gotta expect is PG era. They can't do anything cutting edge, you know. So that right there kind of set me off because I like Zack Ryder too. I'm, I'm, I was enjoying the main event push a little bit, trying to help him out. Uh, made me say, "Are you serious, bro?" But they had John Cena got in a handicap match. Okay, and then Awesome Truth came in and started dominating, and then. Uh, John Cena was getting it in, and he looked like Super Cena for a while, and then, you know, that's the thing that takes down Super Cena, a water bottle, a, a, a like, 20% plastic water bottle by Aquafina takes out John Cena. It's like, that reminds me of Super Dude on, on all that, when he couldn't even be near milk. He was lactose, and a little bit of milk that got on his cape, he, like, almost died. It was, uh, hilarious. And Ed Reed is down for the count. He hurt his neck. Ouch. Poor Ed Reed. Um, uh, no. But, okay. Super Cena went down to a water bottle. And then, of course, they tried to jump. And then when John Laurinaitis comes out again, another cutscene. He's becoming the Hulk Hogan of WWE. It has to be in every other cutscene. Get the Yeah. Um, and then he's like, you get to choose your own partner. John Cena acts fate. And then he's like, oh. Oh, wait, I get to choose my own partner? Oh. Of course, everyone knew it was going to be The Rock. I mean, they cut, they cut that commercial about two months ago. It was on The Rock's Facebook and Twitter. And he's like, I'm only doing this once and I'll never do it again. Oh, That's the one thing about social networking. I mean, yeah, the dirt sheets are okay, but the social networking, you got superstars kind of breaking that. I mean, The Rock's free to do whatever. I'm a huge Rock fan. That's my number one guy of all wrestling and all time. But still, it's I'm pretty sure for some of the fans, it's like, okay, whatever. You know, some of the nostalgia is gone because of the year I see it. I mean, it's still exciting to hear, though. But, but yeah, exciting to hear, not exciting to see. If I see John Cena spit on the mic again, get the scout. But overall, okay, The Rocks is tag team partner. We go to Survivor Series with good hype in a four week, five week wait before another pay per view instead of two weeks. That's good. Okay, I mean, that's my take on Raw. Um, I guess subscribe to me, comment, leave me your thoughts and stuff, help me improve here. Uh, even ask me questions. I'm going to start doing QAs here in a little bit. Uh, get at me, let me know. Follow me on Twitter at SPZ34. No, under no underscores or anything, just SPZ34. Uh, get at me, and uh, go hit up my boys Steve Breach, Miguel, Tim Ran, and Rift. Yeah, Wrestling Internet Nation, I guess. That's, that's what it is. Yep, uh, that's it for now. Have a good evening.